take a moment, see yourself sitting here, see the snow and the cold all outside. And we're going to reach down, down through the floor, down until we reach the bottom of the basement far below us. We reach down through the basement and into the soil beneath our houses. And we're going to reach down, down through that soil, around the rocks, around the boulders, until we reach bedrock far below where we're sitting. As we reach that bedrock, search out until you can find that pool of water below you the cool waters, waters of chaos below you. We're going to, with each and every breath, we're going to slowly bring these waters up into our bodies. So with the next breath, we bring it up into our feet, into our legs. Next breath, we bring them up into our loins and into our bellies, filling us with the energies of the waters from far below. Next breath brings it up into our chest and into our heads. And each and every breath after brings this water up through our bodies, through our heads, through our arms, flowing back into the earth. Sit here and feel this water coursing through your bodies, filling you with the energies from far below, the cool waters running throughout your bodies, filling you with all the energies that you need from, from the waters. Enjoy it, rejoice in it. And then we're going to reach up. Reach up through the ceiling and keep on going up until you reach the roof. Keep going up through the roof until you, through the clouds, until you can find that one star directly above your head. And we're going to reach up, we're going to pull in the light, the fires from above, the fires of order. Bring that down, down into our bodies. With each other breath, we bring the fires and the light down, mix with the waters in our heads and in our chest. Each and every breath comes down further into our bellies and into our loins. And finally, we bring it down into our legs and into our feet. Feel the lights coming in from above, filling us with the warmth of the stars the energies of the fires from above and mingling with the waters from below. If we take a look at ourselves, we can see ourselves glowing as the waters come up from below, the fires come down from above, mixing within our bodies, filling us with all the energies we could ever need, order and chaos, fire and water, warmth and cold. Feel all of these energies mixing within our bodies. Take of these energies all that you could need, but only what you need. Fill your reserves and bring yourself back to your normal, neutral self. When you're ready, push the waters back down into the ground. Push the fires back up into the sky. And know that if you ever need any more of these energies, always reach down and grab them. And always reach up and grab them. But for now, release the energies. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. When you're ready, open your eyes prepared for magic. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Oh, Earth Mother, surround us, support us, provide us food, provide us shelter. On days like this, when we have some of the coldest weather we've ever recorded here in North America, you provide us challenges 
and ways to overcome them. For all that you do for us throughout the years, all that you do for us throughout the day, First Mother, accept our offerings. Yes, Spirit, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods, the land spirits, and the ancestors. We are here to ask for blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, waters of the deep, you are a path to the ancestors. You are a path to the underworld. To you, we offer you this silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. To the fire, you burn, you transform. You send our offerings high into the sky, into the heavens, to the shining ones. We offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. And mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, connect with the wells below. Your branches run high into the sky, connect to the heavens above. We spurt you with the waters of the well, sense you with the fires. To you we say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. In my grove, in all of our groves, the light of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the water, and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the waters, and the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. Now, we call on the gatekeepers. To all of you who have aided us in the past, we call on you to aid us now. We ask you to help us in opening the ways between the worlds. Watch over us as we do our works guard us and guide us so we may stay safe. Take our messages far and wide, bring back to us all that we need to hear. Mighty gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Mighty gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine in my grove and in all of our groves. The well, open. As a gate to the underworlds. The fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. We give first to the shining ones. The guys and goddesses of elder days, be your patrons and matrons. We offer you well. To all of you who are in this very land, those that come from where we live, we offer you welcome. To all of those that watch over us, whether it's known to us or unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. <coughs> Land spirits, be you fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. Be you leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all the unseen spirits, our house spirits, the Fae, and all the other set names that you go by, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, 
Accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And to the ancestors, to those of us, oh, to those of you that have come before us, our family, we offer you welcome. To those we call heroes, mentors, friends, inspiration, our chosen family, we offer you welcome. And to all of those in this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. At this point, if you have any offerings you wish to make, please feel free to do so. And fulfillment, the promise to Scalvi. And to the Earth Mother and to all the kindred, watch over those who are less fortunate and those who are suffering the most in this weather. There are no other offerings to be made. The mighty kindred, we give to you, give you one last time. We ask, kindred, accept this sacrifice. Kindred, accept the sacrifice. Now, mighty kindred, we ask, what blessings do we receive? The shining one. They give us now these. The need fire. To the land spirits. The land spirits give us hoggle. Hail. Change. And the ancestors. The ancestors give us Yera, the cycle, and, and talks of harvest. We got the need fire, the desire and push to do things. We've got Hoggle, which is Hail. Hoggle will cause destruction of crops, but will also nourish the earth and bring about new things. It's truly about major and sometimes drastic change. And we have Yera, which talks about cycles, the seasons, planting and harvest, the year. I'm reading this as be the change. Be the change that you need, be the change that we all need. And it'll take a little while, but the change will be effective. I think that this is a good omen. Do we accept this omen? We accept the salmon. Ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you, we have heard your omens. Fill these waters, not just these waters, but all of our waters and all of our cups. 
Fill them with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with analogies and the need fire. Fill them with hoggle and the change. Fill them with the era and cycles. By drinking these waters, fill us with the needed change to bring about the changes. Fill them with the patience to wait to see these changes come through. Ancient and mighty ones, fill these waters. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. And now, let us thank all of those who have aided us. Mighty ancestors, be you of this place, be you chosen, or be you of our own. For all that you do for us throughout the days and all you've done for us tonight. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, be you the unseen, be you the plant kin, or be you the animal kin. For all that you do for us throughout the days and all that you have done for us tonight. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. To the shining ones, be you of this very land, be you unknown to us, or be you our patrons and matrons. For all that you do for us throughout the days and all that you have done for us tonight. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeepers, you have aided us once more. You have opened the ways between the worlds, watched over us, protected us, and brought back what we needed to hear. For all that you have done for us tonight, gatekeepers all, we thank you. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. We now ask that you once more join your magic with mine and my house and all of our houses. Let our wells become but water. Let our fires become but flames. Let our trees become but trees once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least to the Earth Mother. Without you, we would not be here. So we honor you first. We thank you last for all that you do for us throughout the days and all that you've done for us throughout the night. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Spirit, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. This right has ended.